Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. So, if you follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean, or if you just follow my channel, <laughs> <laughs> for any amount of time, you guys know Salvation Army, Half Off Wednesdays, whether it be Hollywood, Margate, Tamrac, uh, Downtown Fort Lauderdale, <sighs> Wednesdays, Salvation Army is the place to be. Other than the bins or, you know what, I shouldn't say that because there's, there's a lot of thrifting to be done here on Wednesdays. So yeah, I can't even say that. I can't even say I'm only going to be a Salvation Army on Wednesdays. Um... But yesterday I was. And so the focus yesterday really was on home. I really wasn't looking to spend any money on clothing or shoes or anything. But I have very little restraint. <laughs> you guys are my people, so you know what I'm talking about. I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm just going to go look at housewares. But then from the corner of your eye, you see, you know, a pink pump. And you're like, I must go and check that. Okay. Um, so let's start off with the purple pump, which I was praying in tongues the entire walk from the housewares to the shoe section that this shoe that i spotted was my size and it was not these steve madden steve madden porto p-o-r-t-o -O. let me tell you something steve madden you guys know i love my louboutin pagal plateaus i've been talking about it for as long as i've had this channel for five six years that is my favorite shoe i love the point on that show my shoe is just my favorite shoe on the planet a close second. No, hold up. Who does a who does a good point? Sam Edelman does a good point. Uh, Boutique Nine, which I have some nude pumps from Boutique Nine, they do a good pump. Steve Madden do a good pointed toe pump. Now let me tell you something. Steve Madden, like Christian Louboutin, they gonna hurt you now. You can't get your size. So I'm a nine, nine and a half ish. I have to wear a nine and a half or a ten in Steve Madden. But they do a Louboutin um um uh dupe like nobody else so this i can't even talk like look at the color look at this color people this is a size seven i was like i wanted to cry <laughs> when i was like oh, it's a seven i love this shoe this is so good so good so good they have a nick on one of them you can see there you, you can see it right there like a small small little nick but of course as with everything on Poshmark you just make it known take good pictures look at this on the gray purple and gray matches my my frame um okay I was quite shocked by this um purchase because it was in plain sight and I well no it wasn't in plain sight and I think they just put it out. So what happens, as with all, the, in, any of us who thrift in any city know that when they bring out new product, when they bring out a new cart, when they bring, you know, people dive, literally dive into the cart. And so people were diving into this cart. And so when I went over there and saw these, just like on the, on the rack, I was like, did nobody see these? These are a pair of vintage, Gucci loafers. Yes, just there on the cart. Love the horse bit. You can see the front. You can see the back there. I was I was quite floored that these were just there. And I don't know if maybe it's because of the wear on the front. You guys know when it comes to vintage. Let me put these on the floor. Why are, my, why are shoes on my desk? Can you imagine if Riley came and put her shoes on my desk? What would happen? She would get a pow pow. No, she, we don't pow pow in this house. Um, but... You know, when it comes to vintage and things that are, I, I love the wear on it. That makes me excited because I'm like, oh, it just looks vintage and distressed. And But maybe somebody saw it and decided, I don't know. I don't know what they expect. Anyway, <laughs> but I got those. These, you guys are going to be so proud of me because and my husband was very proud. He was very shocked and shock and awe. He, he, didn't know, he did not know what to do um, because I bought some sneakers. I have two pairs of sneakers, okay? And they're both very, I should probably show you. Let me show you my sneakers because then this will make sense. Hold please. So, I have two pairs of sneakers. I have one other piece, but that's like my workout, workout sneakers. But on a day-to-day -day basis, she did not wear a sneaker. I mean, what? No. 
But my husband, <laughs> I got, uh, my husband got me these. These are Hirachis. Um, I got this at the Nike outlet. And the only reason I got them is because they looked really good on my foot and they would really fly. And every time I wear them, especially when I was working at the university and we would go on different trips or whatever, and my sister's like, oh, you got those Hirachis? You get them like, I just got this fabulous red sneaker. I don't know, Hirachi, uh, hoo -hoo, I don't care. So I got these. This was last year's purchase. And then I got these. These are Stella McCartney for Adidas. You guys see that? I got both of these at the outlet. This is the night, this is at the Nike outlet. Was this Sawgrass or was this Naples? Or West Palm? We have like 800 outlets down here, so I forgot. Um, but this is like a year ago, year and a half ago. I love these. These are so fly on the foot. But these are fly on the foot too. So if you see me on Instagram run, running around or going thrifting or going like just mom life, you're either going to see me in these or in these. That's the extent of my sneaker, sneaker, sneaker collection. And with these, I was very specific. I was like, if I'm going to get another sneaker, it has to be Stella McCartney. Unless you want to ante up and get me some um, Louis Vuitton, it's going to be a Stella McCartney. So Vuitton or Stella McCartney? Let's figure it out. <laughs> So I say that to say, um, my husband was very shocked and in awe because he was like, oh, are we, are we growing up? <laughs> are we becoming a woman? I'm like, shut up, sir. I got these gazelles. <laughs> they still, my husband said that. He said, they still one of them bright colors, Dion. We really didn't. But I was like, yes, but I don't buy sneakers. Like I'm looking at five inch heels. So I got these because I really like them. Um, these are Gazelles, Adidas. They are kind of icky. No, not kind of. They are icky in the, in the inside. So what I'm going to do is get like a baby wipe and uh, clean that out. I'm going to give them to him to clean because I don't know. Can you, there you go. Um, I've never cleaned suede. I mean, I guess it would be the same as cleaning a suede boot. I don't know, but I like these. And so I saw them on the rack and I was like, hmm, what's my size? I like those. Those are cute. So these are going to be another mom shoe for me. I really like these. So yeah, aren't you proud? Aren't you proud of me? Because every shoe I show on here for me is like five inches and above. And that's usually what I'm wearing when I'm out with my girls. Or But on a day-to-day, -day, like, you know, every night can't be date night, right? Um, I mean, it can, but. All right, so there's that. Let's put that over here for my husband to take care of that. So this is what I went in here for. <laughs> I had about fifty dollars worth of frames in my car. If you follow me on Instagram at IMD on D, then you saw you seen the post and you saw the um the stories. And I was like, okay, Dion, calm down, because this is what I will do. I will buy all of those frames. We've had this discussion about my table, right? We will buy as a creative. I just want to buy it all and then figure it out later. That's not the smartest thing to do because that's actually what hoarders do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I saw all these frames. I was like, oh my God. And I mean, it's half off, right? And so I'm like, I'm just going to get all these frames and I'm going to get all these frames and I'll just figure it out later and I'll do a wall. And I was like, okay, Dion, breathe. Like my husband tells Riley, Riley, breathe. Get what you really, really like, what was already in your mind, and then build around it. So I'm still going to do a wall. But I, I, I put back the frame. I put back half the frames. A third. No, like half. Because I need to figure out. I had some white frames. I had blue frames. I had, I was, I mean, I just had frames, frames, frames. Um, I, I really wish I would have gotten the blue frames because I feel like in this space, I have a lot of color. I love color. Um, I love living in color. It just makes me feel better. Um, but I, I need to live with it first. So what I'm going to do. I got these four, and uh, these are like Ikea frames. I'll do Ikea. I'm just not buying them from Ikea. So this, these were $3.99 and half off. So I'm going to start with these four. I got some black and white. I blew up a black and white, blew up some black and white photos, and I'm going to do like a love wall. So I have, we have a bunch of pictures of like where we're hugging friends and family, and I have a bunch of pictures of like Riley and her aunts and you know, huggy kissy photos. And so I'm going to put them all in these black frames and we're going to do a love wall so that every time we walk by that wall, we just know that we're surrounded by family and friends and we're loved and, you know, we're never going to feel alone because we have all these pictures of us with family and friends giving each other hugs and kisses. And so let me show, let me give you, 
pause. Let me, because I see you're just like, huh? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me go get a picture because I printed them out this morning on CBS. One second. Okay, so I'm back. So let me show you an example of what I mean by a love wall. So I got a bunch of like Riley with her grandma and like Riley with her granddad, Riley with her auntie and her cousin and like all these huggy kissy photos, Riley and my best friend. And we're just gonna line the wall. Oh, can you see that? We're just gonna line the wall with like all these love pictures, these pictures that just scream, you know, we're loved, especially with Riley. Like, there's never gonna be a day where she's like, nobody loves me. Yes, all these people love you, Riley. So, isn't that cute? My mommy and Riley, oh, that's so cute. All right, so that was the vision that I walked in to Salvation Army with. And then I got in there with all these inexpensive frames. I'm like, I can do a love wall and then pictures will be hugs and I mean the the colored ones will be like hugs and then I was I was gone I was done I was in hoarder territory you know when you watch hoarders on tv and you just see them like going off the deep end I was there so I got these this is going to be in there and it's just going to be a wall of love so I'm going to stick with that for now and then once that's done because I'm, of course, I'm going to need more pictures. And so um, I want some now. What I'm looking for now, um, and that's why I got this. There was only one. So this is a five by seven. So now that I've gotten those big ones, those are like the main ones because it's my parents and my two best friends. Um, and so, and I have pictures of like Ernest and I, but that's not going to be on this wall. Um, so now I want five by sevens. I want smaller similar love photos. So I think with this, I think I'll get colorful five by sevens. Um, so that's what I'm on the lookout for now. Now I do have another wall. I don't know what I want to do with that wall yet. Um, I am looking for a taller mirror. So that may go there. <sighs> yeah. I'll figure it all out. Because it's bad. The, the worst thing is to go to the Salvation, go to Salvation Army, go to any thrift store and you don't know, you don't have a vision or you don't have a plan in place. Honey, don't do that to yourself. And that's what I did yesterday. No, I had a plan in place. I just didn't care because I saw all the beautiful frames and I wanted them all. And they were so inexpensive. I was like, oh my God, even if I don't use them, I mean, Poshmark has a house, house marketplace. I can just sell them, but I won't because I love them. All right, so... <laughs> <gasps> Next. Did not plan on buying any clothes. It really wasn't in my budget this week because you have to sell to buy. That's my new thing, right? Just not buying and just having dead, not dead stock, but not having like, you know, death piles all over, all over the place. I have stuff to list. So buying stuff when I have stuff to list is actually like you're killing yourself. You're killing your margins, killing your business. So this was totally unplanned. And so that means that I have to eat out of next week's budget, which I really wanted to go back to the bins next week. Um, so if I have a really great weekend of sales, then I will, I will, I will be back on plan. But this was totally unexplained. But when you see the pieces, you'll see why I had to get them. Like I just had to get them. All right. So this first, this first piece here. Look at this beauty look at this gorgeous jacket this is a size four so oh no a size small so here's the thing you guys know that i'm really focusing on building like my size 10 to 14 that's what i'm focused on right now for those of you that have joined my membership club oh my gosh so excited to have you guys on board um we talked about specialty store versus boutique versus um versus a, a specialty department store boutique those are the three that i highlighted in the um in the video right and so in line with my boutique mentality because i'm not a specialty store so i can't carry all plus right um i can't carry all size 10 through 14. this fits my i just i'm showing you the back because this is what got me i'm really in love with the back um the button is missing but i feel like the person i don't feel like it needs a button i feel like this needs to be worn open up right all right so 
there's that. All right, so there's that. <sighs> you guys know. I don't like it. I'm not getting it. And I love this. Look at this color. This is a 3X Worthington. <sighs> I'm going to show you these two tops. And then the bottom. The phone is going off again. Um, this top is so... This is so fabulous. This is not for me. This is so fabulous. I love this part here. Some of you may not like it, especially if you're busty. You may, you may not want, I, you know, I don't really have, I know all the rules, but I break them all the time because I don't care. <laughs> I care how I look. I don't care how you think I look. I care how I look. And if I love it, like I love this, I'm going to wear it. So yeah, even if you're busty, break the rules. This is great. This is a great piece or something like this is a great piece. So I got that and then I got this. Remember Pure Energy? What happened to Pure Energy at Target? They used to have the fire stuff. Well, this is a Pure Energy top. Same color scheme because once again, I'm thinking about my girl and if she wants to bundle. So here's these two. Here are those two. And then the skirt. Oh, Lord. What did I just do to this jacket? Oh, Lord. I'll show y'all what I just did to that jacket. Um, so here is the skirt. Love. Every girl needs a hot pink skirt in their life. Yes, God. Size 22. Now, what did this size 22 class do to this jacket? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Hold up. Can it be fixed? I'll just list it. It has a snag. It's snag. Oh my God. I love this jacket. It's like a cardigan jacket thing, but the, the skirt snagged it. Oh my God. I'm going to list it anyway. Um, look at that. This is a size medium. Oh, I can't believe it snagged it. Oh my gosh. I hope it can be. I don't know. Can somebody, somebody can. My mom taught me how to do this. You just pull it right back in there. Somebody will do it. All right. But yeah, oh, look at the bow right here. It's everything. But this color, this color, guys. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So angry about that. Mm. Y'all, I just knew that the Lord was favoring me and put these and Salvation Army. We have talked about my love for Not Your Daughter's Jeans and not because I was a visual merchandiser for this brand, but because of this panel right here. This panel right here will snatch you, okay? This is brand new with tags, super skinny. Not Your Daughter's Jeans. But I can't because I just ordered some good American skinny jeans. So I'm going to be good and release these. To my curvy cheek I was like, I don't need another, I don't need another jean. But this right here, this right here. Oh my god, this is like the best jean ever. But I can't knowingly do that, knowing that I'm place this order for these good American jeans, which I've been wanting forever. Alright. This who is calling. I always tell my husband to work. I'm like, can you answer the phone at work because the phone at home is ringing and ringing, 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 okay? Um, <laughs> all right. This vintage suit, very St. John. I would almost say very Chanel. If you've seen the show, the cruise show and the spring show, then you know what I'm talking about. So here's the top and here's the bottom. It's a size 16, I think, 16 or 18. But is it? no, because you know if it stretches, So there's the bottom. And then I did get one piece for myself, but you guys will forgive me for the one piece. Um, I got this polka dot dress, and this is actually Old Navy. And I got it because um, I want to pattern mix it. So 
If you're a member of the Style and Business Club, then you will definitely get to see this. What I'm doing now is my hauls will be here, but my try-ons will be in the Style and Business Club because when I did take the survey, I told you guys about the survey, had a lot of people that, you know, they just want to see the hauls and that's amazing. And so for those that are interested in the hauls and the try-on, I'm just gonna separate that out because in the try-ons, you know, it is very chatty and you know it's an education it really is like an educational platform and so i'm going to try this on for you guys um in the style and business club i will leave a link to it in the description box it is 9.99 a month and we have a month a uh, weekly chat where we get to talk about all things style fashion business beauty and all that good stuff so i'm going to pattern pattern mix this for you guys in the style and business club probably on monday so you'll see that or maybe sunday I'll do it for you on Sunday so that you guys can see how I try this on and put it with stuff that's already in my closet. All right, so that's it. Let me get to listing. I'm really upset about that blue jacket. But I'm going to list it and somebody will love it. All right, that's it for me. Love you. We never pay retail again. Please consider joining the Style and Business Membership Club. It's $9.99 a month. We talk every week about all things style. We have a live stream every week, I should say. Probably starting the end of the month, maybe next week. I'll let you guys know. In the community, in the in the community chat, I'll let you know exactly when it's going to be. But it is $9.99 a month. There's a few video videos already in there for you guys. Um, and just so thankful for those of you who have been a part of it and who are supporting the vision. Um, I am not going back to the university. I've decided to make YouTube my university. And so this is part and parcel of that. So the description, the link is in the description box. All right. Love you. We never be retail. Bye.